Matt Panto here for GoLeopards.com. We are back inside Fisher Stadium. We hope all Leopard fans had a fantastic summer. You know, Coach Devani, right before preseason gets started every year, is nice enough to invite us over and tell us what we should be looking for inside preseason camp for preseason central. We wanted to give you that access this year, just a 10-minute conversation with Coach T. Here's what Coach T had to say about going into his 14th season as the head coach of the Lafayette football program. Been around you now for the last couple of days. You got a lot of pep in your step right now. You're excited for the season, aren't you? Well, every year it's uh, you know get off to a new start, new year, new team. Uh, certainly wanting to put some frustrations of the previous year and probably the last several behind us. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, no, very excited about this group. Very focused group. Uh, Seventy-two of our young men were here over the last month training, getting ready to go. Thirty plus were here for the whole eight-week period. So. Um, feel really good about the folks at the football team. Uh, a year ago we talked about our inexperience. Now we feel much better that we've got some, a uh, lot of players with, uh, you know, some serious game time playing experience, which is the ultimate in getting, uh, yeah. you know, ready to play, as you well know. And, uh, you know, uh, again, the freshmen arriving today in upper class tomorrow and full practice on Friday. In fact, tomorrow at this time we'll be in just finishing up practice with our, uh, with our freshmen and some of our uh, younger players. Everybody wants to talk about scholarships, but you have made no mistake that you're excited, and that's certainly a very exciting time. But I can tell you you're excited about the experience coming back. You just touched on that. You're excited about your upperclassmen just as much, if not more. Well, the bottom line is, and scholarship or not, I mean, I think we certainly had access to, you know, a little stronger, uh, you know, student-athlete on both sides of it. Sure. Uh, but, again, these are still, you know, 17-, 18-year-old young men that are coming in. Um, and there is an adjustment period, and uh, sometimes that takes a while till you really see their full potential come out. I think some of the skill players uh, will make an early impact on special teams, um, like what I've seen from the group in general. 15 to 21 were here, so it'll be a pretty good handle on uh, that group. And, uh, you know, just fun to see them get started. But again, uh, any good football team is going to have a solid junior and senior group, and I think we have that this year. When you look at your skill positions, what do you like about them? Well, I like our overall team speed. I think we're really at as high a level as we've been at in terms of overall team speed, which, again, when I took over, you know, which it seems like not all that long ago, even though it was 14 years ago, <laughs> was certainly the number one priority we had to improve. Um, you know, I just, uh, you know, like our athleticism. And, uh, again, the, the critical game experience that a lot of them got, including at the quarterback position, but uh, I think a, a group of young men that I'm going to be able to depend on off the field as well. And we yeah. certainly know that that's important. We had uh, you know, an inordinate amount of those uh, issues, certainly surprising to me because something not that we were not used to. But yeah. uh, I think I've made it very clear to everyone that uh, it doesn't matter that uh, everybody abides by the rules. And if you don't, there's swift and harsh punishment to, to be administered. So uh, we look forward to getting off to a great start and uh, again a great group of young men that uh, seem to be focused and ready to, 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 to win a championship. When you look at the defense last year, the defensive line kind of comes in as a, as a strong suit. Ricky Lister, Tahir Basile, Jason Marshalek. Now you look at those guys, only Kasha is back, but a lot of guys that have kind of earned their stripes mm -hmm. and now ready to get their line. When you look at the defense as a total, what do you like about it? Well, it's kind of a no-name defense in that there's yeah. no big names in there right now. We have some preseason uh, recognition uh, with a few players. Uh, but, uh, again, not a defense. Uh, it certainly appears to be uh, something that somebody might be intimidated by or any of that. However, I think it's a defense that will give you a lot of headaches uh, in terms of uh, giving you a lot of different looks. We'll be very aggressive. I look for us to probably come back to a lot more blitzing as we did in years past um, and to, to put kind of pressure on and kind of make things happen. Um, and, you know, I think we're athletic in the secondary. I think our linebackers is where the depth is right now, the strength. And the defensive line, I look for that group to probably step up and surprise some folks. And then you look to special teams. You put Doug McFadden as your special teams coordinator, one focus. That's kind of been the message you've <laughs> in the last couple of days. One focus on that special team. Well, there's no doubt, and he's really you know jumped up and and, and, and taken that bull by the horns. Uh, he had done that previously prior to being with us. Uh, he's done a great job with our punt team, and I just felt it was important instead of having four different people report to me and sort that out week in week out. Uh, just one guy responsible. He knows the all four units. 
that he's responsible for uh, with personnel. Uh, you know, I, I've gotten a, a hand in that. So uh, it's uh, it's good the whole way around. And uh, again, there's pressure on him. He has kind of equal powers as far as uh, the three coordinators go because all three phases are important. And he has time factored into the daily schedule with the staff. And we certainly have a lot more time scheduled for practicing special teams. So, um, you know, he spent some time with at least two pro teams and a couple college staffs, um, specifically two special teams. And uh, I think it's going to bring a lot of good things to the table. I want to get you out of here on two team questions. Number one, your relationship with the student athletes and establishing a leadership council this year. Exciting. And what are you looking to get out of that? Why make that move? Well, I think we need better communication. There's always, uh, when you have this many young men, you know, mm -hmm. people always say, what's the main part of my job? I mean, the main part of my job is I'm managing the lives of 90 plus 18 to 22 year olds that certainly uh, can and will and continue to make some decisions that are certainly not always the way we would like them to be. And they're going to make mistakes and they're going to trip up, but uh, we're here to help them through those things. And as long as they're learning from those mistakes and making the necessary changes, then that's part of education of life in general. Uh, you know, some things uh, you know are you know just more tolerable than others, and some things are just totally intolerable, and everybody has to know that. So we're working on one rule this year. It's the no nonsense rule, and I administer it pretty clearly. If I determine that your behavior is nonsense and is negative to our program in any way, that you're then we're finished with the team. So um, hopefully there'll be no questions about what the no nonsense rule is. I don't think there will be. Last one here, and we'll get you out of here on this one and let you get started with practices. The T-shirt this year, big, bold letters. It's three letters, and it just says win. It seems simple. It seems simplistic, but it is one message this year that is very clear. Why make that decision there? Well, I think that comes across pretty pretty clearly. Yeah. And, again, it's I've been using that word since, and you can ask the players, since the start of spring practice and all through spring practice. There was only one word. Now, we still, our program exists on pride, purpose, passion, that forever and all time is how we set this thing in place. And once we set that in place, thus came championships. So those are the building blocks. You got to have pride both personally and your team and everything you do. Uh, certainly you got to have purpose for direction and you got to have passion to, you know, bring it. So that's, those are still the building blocks of the program. We've had things, you know, every rep, every day, all these things, you know, end up sticking and are part of it, but every year. And this year I thought bringing the T-shirt back with the ascending schedule, starting with game one down the bottom and building up through the Lafayette-Lehigh game and then certainly the weekend day of the playoffs starting, you know, something that you want to keep climbing that mountain. And uh, so we went back to that. And, uh, you know, me, I like to keep things simple. I went to school with three letters LVC, so I, I like <laughs> things in threes. I can figure it out, you know. So, um I thought it was plain and simple and win and, hey, and, and big letters. And certainly the printer did that. If you saw those shirts, it stands out and everybody knows what we're talking about so far. <laughs> Nothing but positive comments from both the players and everyone else. So I don't know. I just, it's probably very simple.